Okay, this is uh, this is the second last episode of the season of Master Race yeah, Debaters, yeah. and this is our bonus episode. Let me this see week, race card. yeah, this week we're going to be talking about <laughs> race card because we've heard so much about it. Uh, anytime race is brought up, someone's like, "Oh, you're playing the race card." Michael Eric Dyson <laughs> playing the race card. We're playing the race card. Yeah. Race card is <laughs> race card, it, like it's an advantage. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're going to do this 25 minutes, and then uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Okay. You ready? I'm going to start the clock. Uh, hang on. Let me just find the clock, and then we'll, we'll talk about race carb. Bing. Yeah. And brr, 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 brr. Okay. Here got we the go. song stuck in my head. What, what do you have? I have the song, the Let Me See Your Race Card song stuck in my head. The, the Ice Cube one. All right. We started. We started. Okay. Oh. So you have, you have the Ice Cube song, Let Me See Your Race Card. Yeah, you sent that to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, so maybe we should start with a definition of race card. Sure. sure. Uh, yeah, okay. So um, do you have a definition on you? or? Uh, <laughs> okay, I have it. The term usually pops up. Uh, I'm reading from white, uh, stuff white people do, uh, a blog. Uh, okay, okay, not Wikipedia? From, no, not Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, so what exactly is the race card? The term usually pops up when a non-white person is accused of playing this card rather than giving a, a greeting card. That's a joke they tried by claiming that something negative happened because of racism. The mm. accuser such, uh, in such cases is usually a white person, and the accuser, the accuser uses the term to express doubt about the validity of the non-white, uh, non-white person's claims. A further Im- implication is that playing this card is unfair. The extended mm. metaphor at work here is a card game, and the implications are, the racial minor- that, are that mer- racial minorities have an extra card in their hand, that mm. whites don't have, mm. and thus that whites don't play. <laughs> so it's a, yeah, we're cheating in the game of <laughs> life. <laughs> it's a, it's a, but I, whites always accuse us of cheating, like uh, like <laughs> affirmative <laughs> action. Like uh, I, how many times have you been? You've gotten a promotion or a job or something, and some white uh, dude's like, you know, you only got that because you're black. Oh shit, man! I've, I, I've heard a comedian say that about um, um, another comedian. Really? Um, to his face? Yeah. Or just like... Well, of course not. No, in the background. Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. No, no. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm wrong. He said, you know, you're the only one because he's gay, right? Shit like that, yeah. Yeah, but like, 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 okay, but how many straight white dudes are working? Like, <laughs> compared to <laughs> gay people. Like, it's like, you know you only got that because you're gay. Yeah, man, Meanwhile, yeah, 90% like of the below, industry... Below, below average uh, comedian. No, I well, but I mean, like, over. 90% of the industry <laughs> is white dudes. Like, like, white, like yeah. really, you should flip yeah. that. He hate ass, hate yeah. ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, it's like, like hey. you can't say, well, well, you only got that because of something when you're the majority of the something. Uh-huh. Anyway. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, before we started, I, I I did my own little research on the word race card, and the only thing that came up was uh, the Wikipedia entry. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, and by the way, uh, my apologies to all you horse racers. We're not talking about your race card. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're talking about the <laughs> race card. Okay. Yeah, for people who bet on horses, they have a thing called race card. Uh, but sorry, I'm off topic. Yeah, right, way off. So there's but the okay. Wikipedia entry that was that didn't help me, but this was interesting. So I was hoping to find a change my view article on Reddit yeah. about it. Right. So what I did is I did a general search for race card in on Reddit. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting is all the all the search results came from like the Donald. Uh, yeah, of um, course. So people who who are Donald Trump fans, they use that word a lot. Yeah, conservatives like, like use that not, word a lot. Like they're not using the race card. Like like identity <laughs> politics are not involved with the fucking Trump. The, the, no, but they they're the ones like <coughs> race card nearly became for me a word that white people use. Yeah. Oh, which you looked up on stuff white people like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, Yo, like, the, uh, the, the, the guy quotes Tim Weiss here, and Tim Weiss says, white folks have been quick to accuse blacks of playing the race card as if their uh, conclusions have been reached not because of careful consideration of the facts as mm. they see them, but rather mm. because of some irrational, off-the-borderline por- paranoid tendency to see racism everywhere. So, d- mm. so, too, discussions over immigration, terrorists, profiling, and Katrina in its aftermath Often right. turn into issues of race, and so to yes. uh, and so give rise to the charge that as regard that that as regards these subjects, people of color are overreacting when they yes. allege racism in one of the uh, or or in other circumstances. Yes, it, yeah. it's it, it, yeah, it's yeah. I, it, I like it, sorry. sorry. 
I, no, that, I was uh, go uh, ahead. Uh, the Psychology Today article that I read. But you were saying? Oh, the the article was saying that uh, whites often imply that they know more about what it is to live as a non-white person than non-white mm. people themselves do. Mm. Derogatory mm. charges of playing the race card are often an, uh, another instance of this tendency. So, like the the idea that like when we talk about racism, it's uh-huh. it's just in our heads. White it's people know head, more yeah. about our lives. Like it's it's actually it's white supremacy. It's really it's like it, no, it, it, it's white like they're better than us that we're stupid. It's it, it's mm-hmm. like when we started the conversation about uh, affirmative action, like oh you only got it because of that. Because mm-hmm. you can't be smart enough, you can't be talented enough. It's the same thing. Oh, you don't. You're just being irrational. Mm-hmm. You haven't looked at this thing as a rational uh, thing, so you're just clearly playing the race card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And the problem in, in in our society is how race is like a very touchy subject. Like mm-hmm. it's 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 treated like a, what do you call that? Thin glass, mm-hmm. thin ice. Yeah. We yeah. walk around. We, we we walk around thin ice, and then when when someone mention race is like fuck we're not supposed to talk about that shit well you know when you, race when you car you're playing you know race car it's white people it's never any it's, it's there's, 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 people yeah yeah color. yeah like for white people um I, I didn't realize this actually during the show i did not realize this but white people go their entire life with, without thinking about race yeah, exactly or their entire day uh at all and um, well, that's, white know, people's, th- <laughs> that's white people's race card that's that like like I, that's white people's race card. Like like as uh, I'm looking at this meme, uh, mm. you know the the T Rex with the or, or the Raptor with the the claw by his chin. Uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, says, yeah the thinking guy. You the, believe the in the word. you you believe in the race card, but yeah. not in the concept of white privilege. Like you, you like it was like you don't have to think about race. Is a race card. Like when mm. you catch a cab, if you if a cab passes you by, mm. you don't assume it's your race. That's the race card. That's the race card. When right. You don't right. want to talk about I, I, racism and you go, oh, you're using the race card. That's the race card. You're using the, you're using your whiteness to protect yourself from <laughs> from talking about race. Is a race card. Yes. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. white people don't see white uh, white as a race. They when they say don't talk about race, they mean you know just just enjoy the status quo. Just keep just, just, exactly. Keep. I I I'm I'm privileged with this. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> That's interesting. I was I was like um, I was watching this video last night about uh, free speech and the uh, concept mm. of free speech. And uh, I got an argument with a guy about um, taking on Nazi, uh, letting Nazi ideas and listening to Nazi ideas. He's like, we should listen to all ideas. Of course, and uh, yeah. of course, and 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 he's like, that's free speech. Uh, the video I was talking, watching was saying that's not free speech because what they a study mm. showed that. Um, that most people that deal with hate speech are silent. Right. When they deal with hate speech, they're so worried about dealing with violence that uh-huh. none of the people studied would say anything if someone like called them a nigger or like you know whatever. Any hate mm-hmm. speech, they wouldn't respond. They would be silent on it. So it, it, so their free speech has been silenced. So what you're saying is like that you're you're not for free speech. You're for hierarchy of speech. You're for the Nazis' <laughs> right to speak and, and right. to silence other people, mm. and, and you know it, it goes back to like uh, it, it, it's it that's that's race card shit right there. It's like no, but no, but I'm comfortable. I'm doing good. Did I lose right. you? I'm yeah yeah. Interesting. We're, how, it's interesting. How we're not raised to to um, what's the word? Have regard consideration for other people. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Well, I mean, is it is it is it like not consideration for other people? It's just, I mean, this is postmodernism is the idea that like there's no one consensus reality. We can't all agree on one reality because of uh, yes. of, of who we are. Like everyone's completely different. Everyone's biologically different. Everyone's social social economically uh, different. It's like, we can't agree on mm-hmm. one idea. So the the only way we can come up with uh, with a, a close to near consensus of reality. Is by uh, the scientific method, which is you know, um, you know, uh, uh, testing and testing and being uh, being critical and and whatever. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So like like, is it really like these people can't understand compassion, or is it just fucking forget it? I'm mm. it, it, it's it's you're 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 looking at people who are who love the hierarchy and just go no no my opinion is the right one. The mm. way I look at the world is the right way to look at the world. The is way, that compassion? The, the way I look at the world is the right way. I yeah, I try to like identify with, try to basically I try to put myself 
in a situation where I'm the one telling someone, "Hey, quit playing the race card," and and, and it's and it's a challenge. It's it's uh, you do that. You, like you put even, yourself in that position where you're like, "Stop playing the race card." So I, I like where I would see myself in the position of the yeah the person who who tells others. Uh, stop playing the race card. Well, isn't it kind and, of gaslighting though? Like, isn't that like, mm, like if someone you, tells you, know you an experience and you go, "Wow, well, stop playing yeah. the race card." The, the, I, I won't say. Okay, this is me saying I understand. Doesn't mean I agree with it. Doesn't mean I, 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 I'm condoning it. Uh, but I'm, I, uh, a little bit of this. When Kathleen Wynn wrote that piece about um, how sexism affected her, um, um, her career. And the comment section was filled with, oh, yo, quit playing the woman card. But basically, the, the sentiment card. was all the whole, um, like, if I left my, what do you call it, my, 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 my um, primitive male brain, yeah. if I just keep that on, yeah, I understand the whole, uh, yeah, man, she's playing the, the, the woman card. But when I look at it from a human being, it's like, yeah, no, sexism is a real thing. We uh, tend to put women in a box, uh, and you can only behave this way. If you don't, then we diss you for it or we punish you for it. And, um, yeah, we do behave differently with you than we do with other men. Yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah. But, like, uh, even saying woman card, isn't that sexist? Like, because what you're saying is... Uh, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, what you're yeah, saying yeah, is yeah. your perspective I, I'm isn't saying, real. I'm saying I, I, can, I can see a dude... <laughs> it's no, like but, I can but, under, but what it's I'm like saying I, is, I, I understand being sexist. That's I think that's what I'm trying to say. No, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like I don't like the irony is lost on them. Like they go, okay, well, like that is like I don't know what I'm missing to go. Well, it's ironic to tell someone that their experiences to go. Oh, you know what? You, you're not uh, dealing with sexism because yes. I said so. Yes. Like yeah, you tell yeah. me an experience, and I tell you that's not the experience. That's gaslighting, isn't it? Sexist to tell someone that, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, what yeah, am yeah. I missing there? I, uh-huh. I, I, like, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know. Like, I, I'm trying to understand. Like you're saying, I'm trying to understand their perspective. Like, what am I missing that I couldn't see the irony in that? There's like I think we're evolving as a, hu- like zero. as a race, uh, human beings, and part of this evolution is realizing, accepting that. My experience is not his experience, his or hers experience. But that's his not human beings. Not that's mine. just fucking. That's adult and children, right? Like that's <laughs> like, like like that's not a human being thing. That to go to like, do you know what I mean? Like if 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 someone came to me, like like when I was a kid, I remember uh, when I was in my twenties, I did I did shows in South Africa, and I was laughing at this dude who had a fake uh-huh. chain. And he was like, dude, if I have a real chain, I can get murdered out here. This is serious. Wow. You're from Canada. You don't deal with this shit. He didn't say that to me. <laughs> right, right. But that's what, I had a childish brain because I didn't yes. travel. I didn't go around and meet other people. Yes. And yes. I, so that's why I don't think it's a human thing. I think it's that's like. A, that's a like, good example. Like, how the <laughs> fuck can you not like go, well, that's not my experience. Like, it's yeah, a very yeah. simple step to go. Like the, your knee jerk is to go. Your knee jerk is to get offended at someone's experience because it might infringe on your fucking hierarchy. Like uh-huh. it's, it's bullshit. Like on your on your comfortable status, you have to look at the world in a real. That's why everyone talks about fucking these people like red pilling and talking about Matrix. They're full of shit. They wouldn't take the red pill. <laughs> the, <laughs> fucking comfortable as yeah, shit. Like <laughs> the real shit. Yeah. Never come. They'd be like, put me back in. Put exactly, me, man. Put me the fuck I was back privileged in. back then. Yeah, yeah. I'll take a blue pill. How many blue <laughs> pills do you have? I'll take six of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking Actually, uh, Gavin, you should give me an idea. Um, in 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 the uh, intent of 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 bringing the worst to, the, the worst uh, the races together. Yeah, I'm gonna challenge uh, our listeners. Our listeners, and don't worry, you will not be punished. But if you've ever, especially our white listeners, if you've ever in your past, uh, past day where you weren't enlightened, you consider yourself unenlightened, called someone and told them, hey, stop using the race card. Yeah. Tell us why. Break yeah, it down. That would be awesome. Like, you know what I mean? To really understand it. I, I, like, I, we won't diss you for it. We won't diss you for no, it. No, we won't. Because I, 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 cause, cause it, there's a certain level of non, no self-reflection to say right. that. To, right. to, to go... Hey, stop using the race card because, uh, like, they were talking about Jesse Jackson and and why he didn't do well as well as Obama, and a lot of mm. people were saying because he didn't play the race card, and it's like, well, Jesse Jackson oh, dealt with geez. black issues, and yeah. to a lot of white people, that's playing the race card. Mm. Like to not be to it, there's a certain level of privilege mm. and entitlement to assume 
that your perspective is always the right one. Yes. And, and, yeah. and yeah, this is this is my problem with Jordan Peterson because he's against this. He's against the idea of different perspective. He believes there's one hierarchy is yeah. important, and status yeah. quo should stay the same. Uh-huh. <laughs> but also clean your room. Clean your room. Also clean. <laughs> you sack Dude, I didn't shit. Get, <laughs> I got in a fight with a Jordan Peterson supporter, man. How Jesus old is that? Christ, how he old brought is it that? out of me. How old is that supporter? Uh, he's a grown up, man. He's a yeah, professional like, and you, shit like that, and all the above. To Jordan and, uh, Pe- Peterson as a grown up. And, and it got to a point, I said, look, man, in order for me to, to, to maintain this career shit, you know what I mean? We cannot talk. You know, politics is sensitive? Yeah, man. Why can I hear your Jordan Peterson um, <laughs> theories? Because we might fight. We might, we might just, in order for me to get along and keep this, you know. <laughs> well, he, he's got people thinking, like, uh, right extremism is better than left extremism. Wow. He's got people saying Word. that shit. Oh yeah, man. Fucking Word. give me a give me a Hitler any day. <laughs> you got people saying that. You know why? Because they don't look at right extremism because a lot of uh right wing extremism is like uh shitting on people of color. Like mm. sl- the North Atlantic slave trade or yeah, yeah. or colonialism <laughs> or, not bothering me. or fucking third world country sweatshops. Because they don't look <laughs> at that. It's not brown people, it's white people. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hey, um, it, it, I, I meant to bring up this. Uh, so one of the pieces that I was able to find is mm-hmm. called um, blog post. It's called The Race Car, written by Rusi White, PhD, um, Jamaican lady. Anyways, I like at the beginning of the first paragraph, and she mentions how the, the, the thing with the race card is no one is allowed to use it. If a white person uses it, he's he's. Uh, he or she is being is accused of being in denial or not trying to understand other reality. When a black person uses it, he is accused of everything you just said at the beginning. You know, trying to get some advantage yeah. um, um, by using his race. It's it's an interesting word. Um, anyone uses it, they're in trouble. Well, it, it, it's funny because it's like like it, like I said, it, it, they look at it like black privilege. Like it's like we right. or, like right. we got this card right. and we just throw it down. Like there's no history behind. Racism, like there's no, there's yes. no uh, 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 racialized oppression stemming from uh, uh, colonialism or enslavement or Jim Crow segregation or gerrymandering. There's none uh, of that. Uh-huh. It's just that we're yeah. using this car, and it's like, uh, and white yeah. people, it, white people can't use it, but white people use yeah. it all the time. You use it all the time <laughs> when it works for them. Well, think Wait, about, it. like, think, think about, it. think about yeah. a, you know, a white person that would listen to this conversation and call uh-huh. us a racist. Oh, most of exactly. <laughs> every every black person has like that's. A, remember when I, I I shared that uh, uh, comment with you, and you're like, "Oh, it's so hacky." It's like yes, because we all deal with that shit. <laughs> it's just you trying to silence us because you don't want to hear it. Uh huh. It's like, oh, you're a racist. You hate white people. You're using the race card. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, race card. I was, I was joking with. Um, Comedian that just recently met uh, uh, Carolyn O'Brien, and she's mm-hmm. so she's got a last European last name, right? Yeah, O'Brien. And I got one too. I'm not going to say it out loud because you know I don't put out my government like that online. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I got a port. My 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 last name sounds Portuguese, mm-hmm. and it's interesting. Every once in a while, I'll get a white person who'll be like, "Hey, where's your last name come from?" I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> 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 do I have to break down slavery? Yeah, and if I, I do, he's going, "Hey, quit playing the race card." Oh, fuck, man. I mean, dude, do, do you want well, an explanation or not? Well, like. It, it is okay. Am I too harsh? Like to think like <laughs> if you're a white person, you see a black person with a Portuguese last name, you can't fucking glue shit together. <laughs> is, is that too harsh? Am I too harsh to expect people to think on that level? Like I don't think it's that hard to like go. Oh, you that's why he's got to You would think, but yeah, but it, but it's like, white people are it, uh, fascinating. <laughs> the way they were raised on. I feel like doing a documentary on this shit. How they were raised on the concept of yeah. race. It's like, yo, don't talk about. It. We don't, don't talk, talk about. It. It's about like it. Fight Club. We don't talk about that shit. <laughs> God damn it, black people, stop bringing that <laughs> shit up. Stop bringing about it. What's the first real <laughs> rule of White Club? Don't talk about race. <laughs> don't, talk, don't talk about race. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but like that's <laughs> second like, and third rule. But, like, don't talk about race. But just the fact that you have white people go, oh. Where did you get that Portuguese? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you know what rape is? Do you know kidnapping and rape? You know I mean? <laughs> like, like, I got to get into this story with you now. Jesus. And then you Christ. bring it up and they go, oh, fuck, this motherfucker is so good. And I can't. I can't be around this guy. <laughs> so now you got to have like an imaginary Portuguese grandfather. 
Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you gotta exactly. make up some. Uh, oh yeah, my grandfather was Portuguese. I don't know shit about Portugal, man. <laughs> except that it's in Europe. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a Portuguese grandfather. He used to. You know what I mean? Exactly. He used to fry fish in our basement. It was awesome. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know you get into some real shit, and they're gonna be like, oh, oh I'm sorry, I guess. Hey, you know what I mean? Hey, did, wait. Did we mention how this became a topic? What the I think it's got, uh, race car? Race car. What, oh, yeah. what we dis- uh, what? oh yes. Oh no, we didn't. We uh, do you want to <laughs> do you want to talk about it? <laughs> no, it, it, it makes me fun. Is, is this okay? So, uh, uh, so the the Sterling Scott yeah. scenario, how he got um, he tried to cash a check in in uh, Money Mart, in, yeah. and uh, and they they turned him down, and you know, and he started documenting. Sh- Long story short, it made the mean it made like global news. Yeah. Reported on the incident, yes. and then Gavin <laughs> decided to go in the comment section. I don't know. I'm sadomasochistic. <laughs> You're sadomasochistic. <laughs> so I, I decided, we know we're not supposed to go to the comment section, but he still did, I and it, I fucking I was followed him behind. Good day. I, I I needed to feel guilty about something. <laughs> fuck. And a constant. Oh man, quit pulling the race car, buddy. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> fuck. Was, it was over and over, over, over and over. They, but I expect that from the patrons of Money Mart. <laughs> There were so many yeah. Batman. They just like they need to solve the problem other than race. They're like, well, no. If we maybe if we look at it, looking at forensics of the situation, <laughs> everyone's trying to solve the problem. So it's not race. Like I've never yeah, seen yeah. people work harder as a group. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it was it was like one of those office. Uh, 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 working group, working function things. You know, to <laughs> get together because everyone was working together to figure out how this couldn't be a racism thing. It was. What were you wearing? It was Man, almost were you blasting hip hop. Was there a Cadillac parked in front of the car? It could be a lot of things. <laughs> it could have. It, it was almost beautiful. It was almost like, oh my god, look at look at white people get together. Look at people get together <laughs> over uh, trying to disprove racism. <laughs> they just united like a like a cheerleading yeah. team. They formed a pyramid of they trying to prove up. racism doesn't exist <coughs> in a second. It was beautiful. And, yeah. just like, and it's like I've never seen people like work so hard at that. <laughs> and race car was brought up. It was playing the race car. Uh, holy shit. shit! I'm trying to. I, I'm trying to imagine a, living in a world where I, got, I guess I should be grateful for that. Well, that's uh, that's this is one of the reasons why I started the podcast was because of the gaslighting. It is. Mm-hmm. It is so. I like. I. Uh, I under. I have to. I. I realized in the last uh, while doing this podcast in the last two seasons. I have to understand this shit on an intellectual level. I have to understand Jay, my problems on an intellectual level. I need Ditto. to understand it on that level, or else uh-huh. it's ga- you're being gaslit. You're, it's it's <laughs> like to deal with that. To be. To. To. Like I can't imagine Sterling Scott like. You, you you deal with this problem. You you deal with this problem where someone's calling the police on you for uh, uh, for for this check thing. And Forgot then to mention that part. They call the cops. They on call them. the cops, right? So you're dealing with that already, right? You're dealing uh, with something that you feel abused, and then you mm-hmm. someone on the comments that you're getting double abused. Yeah, you're yeah. being blamed for actions of other people by yeah. other. And it's just like if you don't uh, understand it on an intellectual level, that's fucking mm-hmm. that's hard to take. And I mean, mm-hmm. I, and I've been there. I've been there, mm-hmm. and that's why I started this podcast to understand this shit. <laughs> On an intellectual mm-hmm. level, so I can go. Oh, I can move through my day. <laughs> I can move through my day easier. Yeah, if I go, oh, I, I know what they're talking. I know what's going on here. I've seen this before. <laughs> I, I, I play the think. race card all the time, to I, so uh, I can understand the race card. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. The, the Delta bad head. I had a. I, I, I'm not sure why I got upset, but I had a friend who asked me, black friend. He asked me, "Hey, B, have you ever used the race card?" And uh, I'm trying to remember what the story. In, in, it was actually on my podcast. Damn, it would help if I had that. But my point is, when he asked me that, I f- at the time I thought he was saying, it sounded like he was saying, "Have you ever used it to your advantage? Like, you know, um, you're in a fight. Uh, why? Because I'm black? Oh no, sorry, sorry, buddy. No, no, because you bumped into my car. You know what I mean? I like. Uh, <laughs> I think that he was trying to. Have you ever used your race to your advantage? I guess that's what he was trying to ask me. Yeah. And I can't imagine any scenario where, uh, I mean, I may have used it once to get out of a fight. I mean, you know, it's yeah, not but, my fault that like, I th- thought but I, was, like, okay, okay. I, I was a thug. How, <laughs> how, how often has the race card been used against you? Uh, as, uh, on a, like, hey, don't talk about race. Or you mean? fucking like just you're, oh, a, you're in oh, a yeah. store and some motherfucker's following you around. 
uh, or you know, like some shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How often yeah, has don't it been use used the, don't, don't use the R word. Don't use the racism yeah, word. Don't, don't use the or even. even uh, I'm just saying, like, just being in society and like, mm-hmm. like you know, you, you just being black and some cop pulls you over for whatever, and they uh-huh. make excuses and like just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Kind of, you know what I mean? Like, just uh-huh. racism happens to you on a daily. Microaggressions mm-hmm. happen to you on a daily. On a regular basis. On a, on a regular I'm basis. Over. Like, I, I don't know. It, to me, the race card is, is fake. It doesn't exist. Because it, 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 it came exist. up yeah. during the OJ trial. Uh, yes. Chris Darden yeah. brought it up and was like, uh, right, Chris Darden, that's his name? He was saying that they were yeah. playing the race card. But if you look at the yes. OJ trial, it was all uh-huh. about race. <laughs> it was all about, yes, <laughs> The whole yes, fucking exactly. thing was about race. It was racism uh-huh. from the top to the bottom. Wasn't, it wasn't, uh, what's his name? Uh, who was Johnny? Mark it wasn't Furman? Johnny Cochran introducing it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this was the, the 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 culmination of the OJ trial was because of like of years of racism in the police yeah. uh, with the police and black people in California. There was riots yeah. over it. This wasn't this wasn't Johnny Cochran bringing up the whole yeah, the, reason they lost was because the cops were racist. It was because yeah, they racist. were racist. Ain't that up? Yeah. It was racist. <laughs> it was bad policing. It was based on racism. It was there was uh-huh. so much racism. It just happened uh-huh. to be OJ who who you know. Yeah. They played up on a lot of his shit, like in terms yes. of like you know they put African shit in his house. Of course, you saw that of shit course, <laughs> of course. But it, but but if I can be disadvantaged by it, I can also yes. use it to uh, help me. shout out the Cochran. Right, I can I can use it as well because uh-huh. it, because it still plays up on the bias of what uh-huh. you think of me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, okay, I I, I want to quickly. I got to make the statement now. You know what happened to Nicole Simpson was a tragedy. Oh, well, you don't have uh, to say that. I'm but not yeah, celebrating so that shit. No, but but fucking Johnny Cochran saw through the fucking loop and saw. Oh wow. Well, like I I, 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 I need watched, a win. I watched the HBO thing and I watched the documentary by ESPN and uh-huh. I and I fight white people all the time. I'm like, oh, he he was innocent in your courts. That's what. That's what I wow. say. In your court. <laughs> well, because he was right. Like they always say the jury was, but like. You made in him your try, courts, in exactly. your courts. Yeah. You you made him try on his gloves, which was uh-huh. stupid. And you uh-huh. also you also put on a, 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 your lead police officer. First of all, there the, yes. one dude took shoes home over the weekend. He took he took tainted evidence home over the weekend. They wow. they put a blanket from Nicole's house over the body. I got, wow. So like there, it was the 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 evidence was all tainted, all tainted. Wow. Plus yeah. your lead investigator. Lied to you and told you he wasn't a racist. So he not only was he a racist, but he was a liar. <laughs> right? So, this was Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> right. So uh, the guy who found the glove just happened to be part of the nation of Islam. <laughs> he just happened to be part of the nation of Islam. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry would be it would be off eating cereal today. Yeah, I don't fuck up the joke, but you get the point. You get yeah, the gist. I get the gist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris Rock. Yeah, man, fuck. So, race card. Race, we, Word we that hit doesn't exist. But yeah, we hit it. 